Okay. So I went back and um, took that console little widget thingy I made. It's not actually a widget. It's a render to texture because the console only has one in I can really get to, and that's rendered to texture. Instead of redoing the entire logic for the console, I can just render it to a texture and display it as a tablet. So, a little button for power on. It shows current console commands. It's live. If you type into it, it'll do all the live stuff like normal. But then I went and got the output log as well. So now you can switch between console and output log. And it's all color coded. You can scroll between the output log entries. And this one's also live. In which it still scales and you can place it wherever. I already found a use for this because I was making this cabinet here and there's something wrong with the physics and it kept throwing log errors. So I was able to just post this up like right here and play with it and watch what errors happen. Figure out what was going wrong. So hey, it was already useful. Now, um, I know somebody was trying to make a cabinet out of that door and that door is not a very good example for it. It's done differently because it's going to be a pawn blocker. A door is made to add um, collision when it's done moving to block you from entering the room. And that's not ideal for a cabinet because of how it has to work for a multiplayer scenario. So cabinets are significantly simpler to set up. So I thought I would make a quick example of how to do that and just make a boxy cabinet model and add some physics constraints to it and some grippable components and here is my cabinet. Pretty simple. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a problem with physics constraints. Anything that's a phys grip, so not physically simulating, but straight up in hand, doesn't play well with physics constraints because motion controllers do not care what's in their way. These things have no velocity, well, no um, real velocity. They just force their way through anything. They have authoritative control, so obviously it's not going to like stuff like that. But for normal interactions and things like uh, physically simulating grips, it works correctly. I'm not going to be able to get this. I have to force the door open to get this cube out. I don't have the um, doors locking simulation like the entry door does where once their velocity, angular or linear, hits zero or close to zero, it stops simulating. Um, so effectively it's closed. You could do that so that once the door is locked, it's locked. You can't open it again unless you actually grip it to open it. But I didn't feel it was necessary for this. It's extra logic and I just didn't bother. It would be simple enough to add just by ripping out what's in that door and putting it onto there. Really. That's just a simple little demo. This is the more important thing. I actually really like the log output. It took me a while to play with font sizes and colors that would work in VR because the default console colors do not work in VR. Oh, well, default output log colors do not work in VR. I am um, I'm directly sampling what goes to the output log in here and redisplaying it to a texture. And the default red was terrible. You couldn't see anything. So I played with colors. Uh, let me get a let me get a warning a warning in there. So this should generate a warning eventually. There we go. Yeah, spawn failed warning. So I had to get this color yellow too. It's the default yellow is um, eye burning with the headset on. I've got it so it word wraps to the next line. You can scroll through what's been done since you started play. It does not include um, output logs since before you began play, which I think I can fix, but I don't want to. I prefer it like this. Once your headset's active, then this will be the output log. I think that works better. Oh, really should. Once they fix a bug in 4.16, you can't actually add any C++ interfaces to any Blueprint object at the moment. And um, that's a preview bug. 
can't even add epics interfaces i'll add the grippable interface to this so that i can shrink it down and drop it onto my waist when it detects that i let go because then i can just carry it around in my pocket so say i guess i could attach it to the controller too and like keep it there or something yeah like that you just read it hmm. oh um i got some other stuff to do i've made cabinets drawers doors levers buttons and dials i guess i should make some like uh, toggle switches or something i don't know i'm just coming up with ideas i would make a gun system except for one i don't have the model base for it for you know the different components for a gun i don't have magazines i don't have sights i don't have guns and i don't really want to download a free bunch of meshes for that and i don't really want to mock it up with a bunch of rectangles and squares but it's really really simple to make an attachment system for this i mean just this shows it's really easy to do so i'm not that worried about it so i guess i'll just keep working on the interactive stuff uh replication enhancements and whatever else comes to my mind so all right more updates to come